Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kermit's Ghost, and we are on the Fs of my collection. Now, before I go any further, I'd like to do a shout out to a guy on here. It's a YouTuber called uh, Dan, and his channel is Physical Media for Life. Go and check him out. He knows his onions. He's a great film collector, and he knows all his stuff. So, give him a go. Physical Media for Life. I'll try and put a link down below if I can remember my daughter to do that. Okay, let's carry on with the Fs because there's 100. And I think it was about 180, something like that. Uh, Face Off. That's a good John Travolta, Nicolas Cage film, uh, directed by John Woo. Good action. I think it's an 18. It's an 18 as well. Probably wouldn't be an 18 nowadays. Uh, the Faculty. I'm going to try and not get glare on them because that's annoying. Um, American football film. We don't get a lot of uh, sports films, and we certainly don't get American football films in the UK. This is Region 3, Facing the Giants. Do love a good sports movie. John Cusack, The Factory. It's quite a slow burn. Not a lot happens. But it's okay. If you like uh, John Cusack, you'll probably like that film. Fading Jiggo stars um, Woody Allen, amongst other people. You've got Lee Shriver, who's now more directing. Uh, Sharon Stone. Uh, I don't think this was directed by Woody Allen, though. No. But he probably had his hand in it somewhere. Failure to launch. This is back in the day when um, Matthew McConaughey used to do a lot of rom uh, romantic comedies and things like that, and uh, sort of fluff films. If you like, now he's more like a serious actor. Jessica Sarah, uh, no, Sarah Jessica Parker is in that. The Fallen. Oh, I don't know if the camera's actually picking up that cover. It's quite dark. Denzel Washington, John Goodman. The Falling, this stars uh, Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones. Falling Down, this is about a guy who's having a really bad day. And, um, well, it's more than just a day, but it's the day that um, the hair that breaks the camel's back, it's, uh, or the straw that breaks the camel's back. It's uh, Michael Douglas, he's in LA, he's trying to get across LA, his car is like overheating, it's just scorching hot, and he, he meets um, these terrible people along the way. He's just trying to get to his daughter. Fame. I used to watch a TV show back in the day. The, uh, the film is not, um, you know, it's a good film, but it's not as good as like the TV show was. It's a bit like MASH. MASH is a good film, and but the, the TV show was better. And it's kind of along the lines of that. Fame, the remake. Um, I don't know so much a remake or a reboot or just a reimagining. It's got Kelsey Grammer in that. It's all about the cinema. The Family, Michelle Pfeiffer and uh, Robert De Niro. Tommy Lee Jones is in there too. The Family Man, this is a really good Nicolas Cage film and um, a good Christmas film as well. It's got Jeremy Piven who was in uh, Mr. Selfridge and other things, you know, but um, good Nicolas Cage film. Oh, Tia Leone, uh, Tia Leone is in that as well. Married to David Duchovny, I think. Great little actress. And I, I saw her the other day in... Um, Tower Heist. She plays a good drunken person in that. Uh, fanboys. That's uh, sort of Star Trek versus Star Wars uh, sort of banter going on. Uh, it's about a guy who has cancer and he's trying to um, get a, a sneak peek at the latest Star Wars film. Probably wouldn't happen today, would it? Fantasia. Not a big fan. I do like classical music, but I'm not a big fan of the selection of classical music in this one. Oh, that's um, Disney number three of the classics. And this is number 38. And I believe Walt Disney's brother, um, I forget his name. Uh, Walt, oh. doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, he promised his brother that he would uh, do like a sequel to it, more updated version. And this is the Fantasia 2000. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This is a great film and it's got great 3D in this. I love it. I love the Harry Potter Wizarding World. However, this one I thought was a little bit too um, complicated for its own good, I think. It wasn't a complicated, I could follow the film, it's just that I thought it was too overblown. I, I saw the extended version, so maybe I should see the uh, just a regular version. I haven't seen the 3D on this yet, so I can't tell you. I should imagine it is good, but I can't tell you. Uh, the extended cut runs at 141 minutes. It's actually a disc with the extended cut. I think the American version only has like a digital extended cut. 
fantastic fear of everything. Simon Pegg. Fantastic Four. This gets a lot of hate. I kind of like this film. It's got um, Captain America in there as the torch. He was also in Push. He had a, a superhero power in Push as well. I think he's played the most super... Here. Although um, uh, the guy who plays Thanos, uh, Josh Brolin, he's he's catching up, isn't he? Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. That's pretty good. And then the one that everybody calls Fran Falstick, um, Fantastic Four. I really like this film. It gets a lot of hate. Uh, I think it's good. I really do. I like the cast. Michael B. Jordan, who's recently in Creed, and um, Miles Teller. I like him in that. Sounds Lucy Goosey. No, just a bit of paper. Fantastic Mr. Fox. I believe this is... Has this got a Criterion? Uh, it's Wes Anderson, so it probably has done. Fantastic Voyage. This used to be a ride in Disney, uh, Body Wars. And um, it's got a, kind of like a remake um, in a space of Dennis Quaid. Um, great film. Raquel Welsh is beautiful in this. Uh, it was beautiful in everything else as well. You've also got um, Donald Pleasant in this. It's a really good film. And I, I wish they'd redo this again. Far and Away. I like this. I saw that at the cinema. I thought that was a pretty good film. Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman. Far From the Madding Crowd. I'm trying to pile through these as quick as I can because uh, it's going to take forever otherwise. Fargo. Now a TV show. I've not seen a TV show, but I really enjoyed the film. My daughter keeps moaning about me to watch the TV show, but I just I don't have time. Fast and the Furious. I saw all these apart from the last two at the cinema and uh, I just watch them when they come out now. But they're, they're decent little uh, films. Oh, CEX trading one. Uh, too Fast, Too Furious. They kind of all sort of blend into one now, these stories. I can't remember which one's which. Apart from this one, Tokyo Drift. I saw this at the cinema and it gave me a migraine. All that um, screeching around and around the car parks. Really annoying. Oh, this one is Lucy Goosey. Fast and Furious. And, and the titles, this is Fast and Furious 4. Be a little bit more imaginative with the titles, please. All right, let's pause it there and get the next pile. And here we are. Uh, we have the next one in the franchise. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, well, it is fantastic. Uh, Fast and Furious 5. There you go. Fast and Furious 5. What's the next one called? Fast and Furious 6. Is this the one with Statham when he comes into it? Um, I don't know. The Rock's in it. And that guy just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Have you seen him? Fast and Furious 7. Fast and Furious 8. And I'm not sure now where they can take this. I mean, that nuclear submarine. Come on. Versus a car. Faster. This is a good film. And uh, again, stars um, Dwayne Johnson and Billy Bob Thornton's in that as well. Fast Girls. I'm going through these quite quick because I filmed this yesterday and it went on for like an hour and a half. Father and Daughter is a German release. All my films play perfectly well on a region B locked player. Russell Crowe, Amanda Seyfried. Didn't get a UK release, that one. I think that's out in America though. Father Figures. Father Goose. Uh, this is Cary Grant, um, Leslie Karen, and again, I had to import this from Germany because um, the UK doesn't have it. I, I, you know, it's a classic. Cary Grant. Father the Bride, the Australian import. Don't think this is out still in the UK. But the thing I hate about this is it's two films on one disc. What I should do is probably buy it again so I'll have two discs and it just make my own covers. That's what I do normally. Fault in the Stars. This girl who's dying of cancer really got on my nerves. Now I know that's a little bit politically incorrect, but um, yeah, she annoyed me in this immensely. Just whining all the time. <laughs> Fences, Denzel Washington and uh, Viola Davis. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, a great classic of a film. And I really like Matthew Broderick. I just watched, uh, like I said the other day, uh, Tower Heist with Tia, Le Tia Leone in it. And he's in it as well as this guy who's been evicted. He was rich, now he's poor. Just an underrated actor, Matthew Broderick. Fertile Ground. The thing I hate about this company, uh, G2 Pictures, so they have this snake down the spine on every one of their... I hate that. A 
Few Good Men. This is a, a brilliant film. Um, I was fortunate, fortunate enough to see this in cinema when it came out. Jack Nicholson stole the show. I'm a big Tom Cruise fan, but Jack Nicholson, every scene he's in. And of course, Demi Moore, beautiful as ever. Fiddler on the Roof. Give this one a chance. It's a musical. It's set way back, and uh, it's about uh, Jews fleeing, and it's just an amazing story. Amazing story. Topol. And it's got a young Starsky from Starsky and Hutch. If you remember that from the uh, 70s. Or was it 80s? The 70s, 80s. Um, yeah. Um, what was it? My Paul Michael Glazer. That's a great film. Needs to be watched. And the songs are so catchy. A Field in England. Black and white. Set in a field in England. Field of Dreams. It's a film that makes me ball like a baby every time I watch it. I don't know. Maybe it's a man thing. Uh Kind of a picture disc, beautiful film. Kevin Costner, and it's got um, Burt Lancaster, James Earl Jones, Amy Madigan. It's just a great film, great film. When the brother-in-law finally sees the baseball players, and when the, the line of traffic. Uh, Fierce Creatures, the sequel to uh, Fish Called Wanda. Not as good as Fish Called Wanda, but still funny. Fifth Element, multi pass. I don't know why you got to say that every time you say Fifth Element. Multi-pass. Um, Luke Besson. Bruce Willis. Very, very good film for Bruce Willis. Um, Mila Jehovic. Is that how you say her name? Jehovic? Jehovic? I don't know. Uh, Chris Tucker. Is it Chris Tucker? He's so annoying in this. Yeah, Gary Oldman. What a villain. What a villain. Fifth Estate. This is quite a slow film. Very, In fact, it's, it's glacial slow. Uh, but it's very good. It's one of those films that pays off at the end. Benedict Cumberbatch. Back the guy was uh, sending secrets and uh, he was on the run. Stars also Stanley Tucci, Peter Capaldi and um, Daniel Ball. Good film, but based slow. Fifth Wave. Oh, not even opened this one yet. Uh, yeah, I need to see this. I've, I've seen clips of it and it really looks good. Chloe Grace Moretz, Alien Invasion. Does look good. 50-50. And funny enough, this only works in 50% of my Blu-ray players. Oddly. Like, uh, it won't work downstairs, but it'll work upstairs. Doesn't work in the bedroom Blu-ray. Works in my daughter's. It's odd. 50-50. Guy who's got cancer and he's... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Gordon Joseph um, Levitt and his friend Seth Rogen. That's how they deal with it. 50 First Dates. Good film. Good film. Quite original. Um, the girl who has... Uh, she wakes up each morning. Actually, this has been remade, isn't it? Kind of. Uh, Osmond Pike, I think. I don't know. Uh, yes, yeah, so Drew, Drew Barrymore wakes up each morning with no memory of what happened before and Adam Sandler's got to sort of walk her through what's happened because she's got did she have an illness or a bump on the head I can't remember 51st States or State 51 this back area 51 Aliens again look this uh, uh, G2 with the little snaky on the side what's all that about 50 Shades of Grey uh, yeah um, this will probably not make it to Criterion this is Big Paul's favourite film. I know. You ask him. He's got... I mean, he must have at least a dozen copies of this film. You ask him. Go on. Ask him. Uh, Fifty Shades Darker. You know it's right, don't you, Paulie? Uh, Fifty Shades Freed. My wife has read the first two books. She got fed up with it. But um, we bought the films. What the hell? Fight Club. Let's get the next batch of films. Okay, here we go. Uh, Fighter. Put that in there. Fighting, Chan and Tatum. Filth, uh, this stars James McAvoy, Jamie Bell, Jim Boardman. I recently watched uh, Split. I left it quite a long time because I wanted it closer to Glass before, you know, to watch it. Loved Split, great film. Final Destination. <sighs> yeah, saw this at the cinema. It's a great film. Um, it's about a bunch of guys or, or kids, teenagers on a plane. Um, one of the passengers has a vision, one of the kids that is, uh, gets off the plane because the vision is the plane crashes. Anyway, uh, it does after they get off. So death comes looking for them because they cheated death. And, it, and it can't, it's a theme that runs all the way through the film, um, through the franchise. Number two, I think, what's this one set on the roller coaster or on the road? I can never remember. I don't know. I think that's the... It's either the roller coaster or the road. Ah, it's the road because that's the roller coaster. Number three, 
I saw the first three at the cinema, but I've not seen the next two. Number four in 3D, and then the fifth one. So I've not seen past the third one yet. Film stars don't die in Liverpool. This is, a, again, Jamie Bell, Annette Benning, Judy Walters, about an aging film star. Um, tries off her relationship with a younger man in Liverpool. Final Girls, this never got a UK release either. Out in America though, all my films play on the region, not play out. Have I said that already? Probably. Final Recall, uh, Wesley Snipes. If you like the film Fire in the Sky, then you'll probably like this one because it pinches a lot of scenes from it. Fire in the Sky should be out on Blu-ray. It's a great alien abduction film. Same sort of thing with that. Final Fantasy, now I remember, I remember when this was on the news about five years ago. No, it's got to be longer than that. 2001, 18 years ago. Um, yeah, they predicted that in, within five years, actors would be obsolete because you can CGI them. How did that turn out? Final score. This was on, was it Netflix or Sky? Um, it took a while to come out. David Barista about ba Batista. I can never say his name. Uh, David Batista. Piers Bosnan. Uh, Piers Bosnan um, is a terrorist. And David Batista is a guy who's on leave from the army. Takes his niece to a football match. Terrorists are there. Want to blow up the stadium. See? Kind of like Die Hard in a football stadium. <clears throat> Squeeze them in. Squeeze in. Okay, next one. Binding Nemo. Good animation. Bruce and all that. Great. Find Dory. I've not seen this one yet. Um need to watch this in 3D. Finding Forrester. Oh, this is uh, Sean Connery, Pulitzer Prize winner, befriends a uh, young young guy in a neighborhood, in a bad neighborhood, and uh, it's back in their friendship. Very good film. Eure I think that's a Eureka film. Eureka. Finding Neverland. Uh, Johnny Depp playing J.M. Barry. Kind of like a biopic. Kate. Kate Winslet's in that as well. Finding Your Feet. This is a really good drama, comedy, romance kind of film uh, about a rich woman whose uh, husband cheats on her so she goes to live with her sister and uh, it's about their friendship. Her sister's really kind of poor living on a, a, a rough estate but her life is better than the rich person and the rich person comes to sort of understand that and find his new romance. Very good film. Watch it if you can. It's got a great cast. Uh, Mildred Staunton, Timothy Spall, um, John Sessions, Joanna Lumley. Great film. Find Me Guilty. It's got Vin Diesel with hair. That's what you need to know about that one. Uh, yeah, Their Finest. This is a good film about uh, a, a company that's making a film in the UK. And uh, it's, is it set during the war? 1940. Really nice English film. Finest Hours. The only thing about this is this should have been in 3D. This is a beautiful film. Um, based on a true story, Chris Pine, Chris, uh, Casey Affleck, uh, Ben Foster, Eric Banner. They play uh, like um, uh, U.S. Coast Guard. Uh, yeah, U.S. Coast uh, Coast Guard, and they're um, well. Casey Affleck isn't. He's on the ship, and uh, they, they're going to rescue him and his crew. And the ship. Um, I'm going to give a bit of a spoiler here. So blah, 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 block your ears. Ship actually cracks in half, and it's like uh, half of it's sunk, and half of it's just floating. And they got to get the guys off. It's an amazing film. Should have been in three D though. Firestarter, Twisted Firestarter, rest in peace, Keith. Uh, from Podgy, uh, great film. That is a Plan B film. Firefox. Don't think this is out in the UK. It might be now because I bought this a while ago. Um, Clint used to play a Russian um, stealth. Is stuff bomber fine uh, it doesn't say good way well, probably does but it's in german place fine on the uk tv good film file not one of his best but it's still a good film file harrison ford uh, he runs a like um now does he run a bank or does he run a security thing for the bank either way uh his family are kind of kidnapped by paul bethany and uh they force him to try and rob a bank i'm pretty sure it is Fire of Fire, Brucey Boy. Firm. The Mob and Lawyers. Tom Cruise is a lawyer for the mob and uh, he's trying to get out, but nobody gets out. But uh, 
you know, he, he's got to find a way. It's Tom Cruise. First kill, uh, Hayden Christensen and Boosty Boy. First mat, I've got to watch this yet. Uh, still sealed. Uh, just trying to get my wife to agree to watch it. She's not a big space fan. Uh, first men in the moon this was part of a box set uh, indicator number 53 and uh, yeah with indicator you get a huge plethora of extras I forget which else came with that box set I've got the boxes still but I take them out because they're all I don't want boxes in there uh, first Sunday ice cube Fist fight with uh, what's his name Charlie Day Ice Cube again. Fistful of dollars Sergio Leone's um, the Spaghetti Western great film, great film. I watched uh, Unforgiven as well um, about two nights ago. Clint Eastwood, what an actor. Uh, Robin Williams, I saw this at the cinema. Uh, just shows how old I am. Because um, this was an eighteen as well at the time. And uh, the scene when uh, uh, I forget who it is comes in and blows somebody's head off in the like a cocktail bar thing. Oh, Robin Williams. Uh, that's an import. I think this was um, from Italy. Or, no, it's from Spain. I think it's out now. I think it's out on Criterion now. Fish Called Wanda, the original one, and the better one. Um, Jimmy Lee Curtis there. Look at her, beautiful. Uh, John Cleese, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Clark. I think he got the Oscar for that, didn't he? And uh, Michael Palin. Michael Palin. Five Flights Up. Uh, these old people, Dan Keaton. I'm not a big fan of Dan Keaton. I used to like it, not so much anymore. Uh, Morgan Freeman. Uh, they they married couple. They live in a flat or an apartment up in New York. Five Flights Up, hence the title. And I think it's got a different title in Europe, though. Um, they decide to sell because they're too old to go up and down the stairs all the time. So um, whilst they're selling and letting let people come in to see their, their house, their apartment, um, they realise how much it means to them and they can't let it go. 500 Days of Summer, it's all set cinema. That's a great film. Five Weeks in a Balloon, not seen this yet. Uh, 101 Films. 101 Films and like... Um, Plan B go. They put their covers right to the top. That's got to annoy some people. Five year engagement. Saw this at cinema too. This is a really long film for a rom com. This is over two hours, uh, but it's fun. It is a fun one. Emily Blunt and uh, Jason Segel. Flags of Our Fathers. Uh, saw this one at the cinema, but I didn't see the the other one because what it is, this is like a um, a story of a battle between American and Japanese troops. And Clint Eastwood directed both back to back. This is the American side, and then the um, Letters from Iwo Jima is the Japanese side of the story. So you know it, it tells both sides. I've only seen this one now. I need to see the other one. Flatliners. Oh, that's the Kevin Bacon one. Um, yeah, good film. Oh well, it's not just Kevin Bacon. You've got uh, Sigourney, um, Sigourney, Kiefer Sutherland, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. That's what I was thinking of. And then a remake of Ellen Page. Ellen Page, she's a radio DJ in the UK. Well, not her, but there is one called that. Sings opera. Flawless. I know I'm rambling, sorry. Uh, Michael Caine, Demi Moore. Just trying to get through them quick. Fletch. That part of the film's going to fall over in a minute. Uh, Flight. I saw this. I went to see it. The trailer showed the plane going upside down. But that is a very, very small part of the film. It's... Uh, it's a good film. It's a lot of talking and not a lot else, really. Uh, John Goodman's in that. And Denzel Washington, obviously. Flight of the Navigator. This is on TV like every week for some reason. It's a good film. Uh, I do like it. I like the effects. I like the uh, the actors. Very good. And who played the mum? The mum. I've seen her in something else. I think it's. Was she in Witches of Eastwick? Was she at all the cherries? Could be. Anyway, let's pause it, get the next pile. Uh, the next pile, here we go. Flight of the Phoenix. About a bunch of guys on a plane, just coming off a job. I think they're oil riggers, I'm not sure. Um, plane crash lands in the desert, they've got to rebuild the plane. Uh, there's uh, the one guy, Giovanni Ribisi. He played uh, Phoebe's brother in Friends. 
uh, that guy he's like an engineer um designer of planes and stuff so he says that they could rebuild the plane and get out of there but things are not always as they seem good film and is a remake of this one a eureka film with david attenborough and uh, sorry david Att richard attenborough and um james stewart richard attenborough would be good and they could tell you all about the spiders and the insects Flight Plan, uh, a good Jodie Foster film, got uh, Sean Bean in this, it's about uh, her daughter goes missing on a flight and she has to, uh, it's got Skarsgård in this as well, isn't it, um, Peter Skarsgård, uh, yeah she has to find her daughter that's missing on the flight and nobody believes that the daughter ever existed. Flintstones, John Goodman, Flipper, oh what's it, old TV shows, um, Flipper with uh, Paul Hogan and Elijah Wood. The Flock with Richard Gere. Uh, the Flowers of War, Christian Bale. Florence Foster Jenkins. Now, um, you've got Mel Street and Hugh Grant. Uh, he's not even listed on there, is he? That's uh, Simon Helberg from uh, Big Bang Theory, plays Howard. I think he actually can play the piano in real life. She's an awful singer, and uh, they make sure that she only plays to family and friends who know she's an awful singer. But she gets so much praise off them, like standing ovations. She decides to take it to the big leagues, despite her horrible voice. Uh, Florida Project. Uh, I'm off to Florida, Florida, funny enough, in about 140, 150 days. The fly. The little fly with the face at the end. <laughs> And then the fly remake. Now, someone asked me the other day um, where I get my cases from. And I did this yesterday. I just bought two pink cases yesterday. I go to CEX and I find the cheap films, um, uh, like I don't know, Time. What's that film? Time something. Oh no, it comes in a green case with uh, Justin Timberlake. Uh, you can get that out of time. That's it. And uh, that comes in a green case, and you can get that for like a couple of quid. I bought Bridesmaids the other day for 50p and something else for Valentine's Day for 50p. I take the covers and other cases, give the films away, which I did yesterday, and I just keep the covers. So there you go. Keep the cases. And it looks better in a green case to fly because it highlights the writing. Fly, great film. With old Blund is it Blundle Fry or Blundle Fly? I can never remember his name. Blundle, Blundle. Uh, fly Away Home. I'm surprised Disney didn't make this because this is sort of a Disney type film. Uh, they, uh, a family, a, um, a 13 year old girl and her father, they sort of adopt a flock of geese and when they fly, they sort of teach them, not teach them to fly, well, they do kind of. Uh, the geese follow them around and they, when they fly off in their little micro plane thing, micro light plane, the geese follow them and all this. And it's based on a true story, it's really good. Fly Boys, I've got to go through these quicker. Fly Paper, Ashley Judd. Focus with Will Smith and Margot Robbie. Again, another green case, The Fog. And uh, I like this cover. That's why I didn't upgrade it to the other one. But uh, look at that lovely green cover with the lovely green case, Fog. I only recently watched that. Maybe, I think it was just before Halloween. Loved it. Loved it. Fool's Gold, another one with Matthew McConaughey as uh, a romantic lead with Kate Hudson uh, but on the underside of this film uh, sort of a plot of such is um, they are treasure hunters Donald Sutherland is in this Ray Winston Kevin Hart um, I'm pretty sure uh, there's another guy I can't think of his name um, but it doesn't matter but there you go Fool's Gold good film good film Footloose now I only watched this a couple of years ago and I watched it back to back well not back to back but within a couple of days of this one the remake and I'm not a big fan of Kevin Bacon so I actually preferred the remake better Miles Teller good film for a few dollars more Clint Eastwood again Sergio Leone great spaghetti western in case you don't know they call them spaghetti westerns because they filmed in Italy I'm pretty sure that's why they call it. Anyway, uh, Jackie Chan and uh, Piz Bosn in The Foreigner. Now, this is kind of like a collateral damage with Arnold's sweaty knickers, in so much as uh, Jackie Chan plays Arnie's 
role. Uh, his wife and I think his wife and daughter are killed in a terrorist attack, and he wants revenge on the people that organised it. Forbidden Planet. This is part of the premium collection number two from 1956. Great film. Great old sci-fi film. Forger with uh, what's his face? John Travolta. Before um, he's gone hairless now, and he's he's taken his wig off, and rightly so because he looks fine without any hair. Abigail Spencer in it. As, uh, yeah, Abigail Spencer. Really like her as an actress. And Christopher Plummer. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Sort of sits cinema. I, I love this film. Um, yeah, a guy who's trying to get over his girlfriend, Sarah Marshall, who's now hooked up with, um, um, what's his, Russell Brand. But he gets in uh, with another girl, uh, Mila Kunis. So that's a good consolation prize. The Forgotten. Great sci-fi film. This is a sci-fi film. So I'm not going to give any spoilers. Um, no, I'm not going to give a spoiler, but just watch this film. It's really good. Check out the, the trailer. It's got Gary Sinise, Anthony Edwards, who was in um, ER. He played uh, Mark Green. Uh, Julianne Moore is really good in this. Um, must watch. Uh, that's an Australian import. For Love of the Game, this is um, this was, I think, an exclusive for one Best Buy. And someone kindly sent it to me. Or was it just somebody off eBay? I don't know. Um... I obviously pay for it. Kevin Costner, Kelly Preston, a great baseball movie. That guy who's having the game of his life, the perfect game. And I remember back in the day when I had this on DVD, you had a thing called Easter eggs where you had to hunt through um, the menu and get like special features. I don't do that on the on Blu-rays anymore, or do they? I don't know. You had to put a code in to get special features. Uh, the Forest, uh, Natalie Dormer from Game of Thrones in the, the spooky forest. I think it's in Japan, isn't it, that forest? Forest Gump, uh, when this first came out, I kind of thought it was a time travel film because it, he's at key events through history, but it just turns out he's in the right place, right time. Uh, yeah, Forest Gump, played by Tom Hanks, and uh, it's just a brilliant, brilliant story. And it's one of those stories that you have, you, you know, it really gets you invested. Forsaken, this is the one with Kaitha and Donald Sutherland and um, Demi Moore. I think you can buy that in the, the pound shop. I've seen people pick it up. The Founder, now uh, people have a problem with Ray Kroc. If it wasn't for Ray Kroc, I know he did a dirty on the two guys that started up the, the little burger bar, the original McDonald's. But if it wasn't for Ray Kroc, we wouldn't have the McDonald's that we have today. So I thank the Lord for Ray Kroc coming, over, coming in, sorting them out. Fountain. Where where else will I get my Ravica bean McLatte in the morning? Um, the Fountain. 1408. This is a great Stephen King film with um, John Cusack, Samuel Jackson. But don't to be fooled. Samuel Jackson's not in it that much. Maybe he had all his parts up, maybe five minutes tops. It's a John Cusack film. He goes into hotels, haunted locations, to a write a report on them if they if he thinks they're really authentic and to um, you know, just write about uh, you know that's his career. Um, anyway, he gets an invitation to go to room fourteen oh eight in this hotel. I forget where the hotel is now. So I think New York, someone like that. Uh, Samuel Jackson tries to put him off, offers him a big bottle of vintage whiskey, and he's no, I'm going to go in. And it, does he make a mistake by going in that room fourteen oh eight? Great horror film. 48 Hours, a uh, young Eddie Murphy, and Nick Nolte before you got all gravelly. Um, where's the where's the other one? Another 48 Hours. That should be out on Blu-ray by now, surely. Somewhere in the world. Four Christmases, a good Christmas film. Um, great cast in this. Reese Witherspoon, uh, Vince Vaughn, you've, uh, uh, Robert Duvall. You've got the guy, um, John Favreau, is it? He plays um, the butler in Tony Stark's films. Four rooms, inept terrorists. Um, no, that's four lions. Four lions. This is four rooms. Four rooms. I got this because it's a Bruce Willis film. Um, I didn't realise Madonna was in there. Uh, I haven't seen it since it was at the cinema back in two thousand. It says two thousand twelve. I thought it was before that even. Maybe that's just a bit of copyright into the 1995. There you go. That's more like it. 
1995, Marissa Tomei is in this as well, and uh, Tim Roth, not a big fan of his, Antonio Banderas, Selma Hayek. It's kind of like short little stories sort of interlapping. I didn't enjoy it. I need to go back and watch it. It's a German import. On to the next pile. Okay, last three little piles. Here we go. Four Winds in a Funeral. This is a great British comedy. Hugh Grant, Annie McDowell, and she gives the worst line in any film ever written, ever, when he says uh, about the raining. Is it still raining? I had noticed. Four, three, two, one. Four girls, three days, two cities, one chance. Heist film. 1492. Um, I think it's only me and Adam from Spin 1984 that's ever owned these films. Yeah, The Conquest of Paradise. Uh, Gerard de Padua and um, Sigourney Weaver's in this as well. The story of Christopher Columbus. 40 Days, 40 Nights, Sex Comedy. Uh, what have we got here? 45 Years. 44 inch chest uh, you'll notice uh, like the like the numbers now are appearing because I put them all in alphabetical order the whole collection even the numbers so if you've got something like uh, three and out it's going to be in the T's 47 Ronin I think everybody has watched this except for me in my house so I need to get on this I want to see it in 3D my dog's just woken up and he's a bit of a noisy sod so if you hear him I apologize um, 47 Ronin, yeah, I need to see this in 3D. 40 year old virgin. Um, oh, what's his name? I can never remember. Steve Corral. Steve Corral. 42. This is a brilliant sports movie. I don't know if the full title is 42, true story, um, true story of a sports legend, or is it just 42? No, it's actually got a true story of a sports legend. A story of uh, Jackie Robinson, played by Chadwick Boseman, and, and you've got. Um, Harrison Ford here, he's had his head like shaved, so he's got like a receding hairline. Great film. This was an import from Australia. Great sports film. One of the best sports films. Fourth Kind, Alien Abduction. Fox and the Hound. This is number 24 of the Disney Classics. Good film. Fox Catcher. And you've got um, Steve Carell, but he's got like a receding hairline, like a nose piece. He's really different, just a little bit of prosthetics and stay of Mark Ruffalo you know like hair receding and a uh, beard Channing Tatum in the middle Fracture this is uh, a game of sort of cat and mouse Anthony Hopkins murders his wife and uh, you've got Ryan Gosling it's on his like last case before he gets promoted and he's got to try and what he thinks is an open and shut case but um, Anthony Hopkins just too clever for him great film and I like the little um, ornaments that Anthony Hopkins makes with the ball bearings that go around. It's, you'd have to see it. It's good. I'd buy one. Frank. Uh, yeah, uh, Michael Fassbender is in that, Behind the Mask. Uh, Frankenstein. This is from 1931. Frankenstein. You're in my Frankenstein collection now. Uh, Frankenstein. Carrier Moss is in this from um, Matrix. Uh, my favourite Frankenstein, uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein should be under M's, but now I'm putting in the Frankenstein's bit. Uh, Bob De Niro plays the monster, and Kenneth Branagh is Frankenstein. Frankenstein Theory. Who knew they made so many Frankenstein films? Frank and Weenie, kind of like a Frankenstein thing, uh, brings back the dog. Uh, yeah, Tim Burton. Great, and the 3D is really good in that as well. Franklin. Frantic, Harrison Ford. This was an import from, um, from another country. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Italy. I'm, oh, there you go. Un film de Roman Polanski. So I'm going to say um, Italy. Freaky Friday. Thank you, Steve. Kasha one. You the man. You sort me out with all the... Um, the Disney Blu-ray exclusives. This is not available in the UK. You have to be a part of a club in America. You have to live in America and have um, access to the Disney Movie Club in order to get these films or pay Skyper prices on eBay, which um, I told you in cool run-ins. I paid 100 and 
I think 220 pound for it. All the codes are used, so there's no point in asking. Um, yeah, Freaky Friday. And then it, they released the remake as well. Uh, Lindsay Lohan and uh, again, Jamie Lee Curtis. Thank you, Steve. Fred Claus, Vince Vaughn again, Paul Giamatti, Christmas film. Not my favorite Christmas film, but it's got good elements to it. Freedom Land with um, Samuel Jackson. Free Fire. Free State of Jones. And this is what I was saying that um, Matthew McConaughey taking meteor roles. It's based on a true story as well. I don't. I, that, that didn't have a UK release when I bought it. Um, this is a American import, but it does have a UK release now. Free Willy. I don't think this is out in the UK even to this day. It might be. I don't know. Um, but this is an American import. Plays fine. Go get it. Great story. Uh, Friends Request. I recently watched that Searching. Where it's all done on computers as well. So I'm guessing this is kind of like the same sort of thing. Uh, ooh, lots of twists and turns in that. It was such a good film. French Connection. Uh, Gene Hackman. He plays Popeye Doyle. Uh, French Kiss, I don't think it's out anywhere other than Germany. It could be, but it's certainly not out in the UK. Uh, Meg Ryan, what happened to Meg Ryan? I think since she did a like bit of facial surgery, they just don't get cast anymore. Frequency, kind of like a time, time travel film, but time travel with a CB radio, if that makes any sense. Um, this is a great movie. I think this is out in the UK now, but this was an Italian import. I think it's out everywhere in the world. Go and watch this. This is really, uh, Jim Caviezel and uh, Dennis Quaid. Father and son um, talk to each other over time. Through time. Friday, Ice Cube. Got a lot of Ice Cube films. Um, fried green tomatoes or tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. Um, why do Americans say tomato, uh, tomatoes? And why do we say tomatoes? And why do you drop the U in words like color if you're american i don't know uh, i don't know why um why the language gets altered a little bit from place to place i love the uh, the way the americans say it. tomatoes balls off the tongue anyway um fried green tomatoes at the whistle stop cafe this is an astonishing film uh, jessica tandy tells kathy bates um about her life mary louise parker's in this i do like Mar uh, mary louise parker uh, yeah, uh, a whole life from the 30s onwards, and it's it's great. It's a great film. One of those sort of Sunday afternoons. I think it goes on for a while. Um, just over two hours. Friday the 13th. I do not know if I've seen this. I really don't know. Um, I know the story. I know key parts of it. But whether I've actually seen the whole thing start to finish, I don't know. But I tend to... Um, I do intend to watch it. That's annoying when the cover's slightly out. Uh, yeah, um, I do intend to watch it just to make sure. Because uh, I recently watched the, the, the first Halloween. I watched that uh, Halloween and uh, thoroughly enjoyed that. So I watched the, the, the remake, loved the remake. That was really good. Or it's not a remake, it's like a, a follow on, but you have to take it from the first one and ignore two, three, four up to I haven't really made eleven when it was something like that. Just watch the first one and the the latest one. So I've done that and I love both of them. Uh, so I need to watch this one. I don't know how many of these they made. I should imagine they made probably about a dozen. I don't know. Friends with benefits, a good rom com, a pretty good rom com. My uh, Mila Kunis, that woman is flawless, and uh, Justin Timberlake. He's pretty flawless too. Good rom-com. Frighteners. This is a brilliant ghost film. Not scary. Well, I suppose it could be for you know for younger viewers. Um, it's about a, a serial killer that has died and he continues to kill uh, to get his number, his perfect number. I think his number's 31. I'm not sure. I can't remember what the number is he's after. But he, he's killing people from the beyond. And uh, you've got Michael J. Fox, uh, the serial killer is Gary uh, uh, Jake Boosie, Gary Boosie's son. 
Michael J. Fox is um, somebody who tries to rid your house of hauntings, and he does that with the aid of his two friends that are dead. One by uh, played by Chi McBride, uh, Jeffrey Coombs is the other one. I'm not sure. But uh, you've got the guy from um, Full Metal Jacket, the uh, the drill sergeant. He's in this as a ghost. It's just a great film, um, and he's trying to uh, get rid of this serial killing ghost. Look at that, it's a really good cover. It's like a 3D cover, it's brilliant. Directed by Peter Jackson as well. Fright Night, and again, this is a Eureka. Look at all those extras. And you, you know, you get, uh, you get a Blu-ray just, oh no you don't, you get a DVD for the extras, I think. Fright Night. And then you got the remake with uh, Anthony Elchin and um, Colin Farrell. Fogs, again, green case. I don't think this came with a green case, but it certainly warranted one. Dust Till Dawn. Great movie. A uh, film of two halves. Well, well, every film's a two-half film, isn't it? you got the first half and you got the second half, but kind of two different stories from the first half to the second half. It it jumps. you got like um, a couple of evil brothers that are kidnapping someone in the first half, and the second half they're trying to fight for their lives to get out of this um, bar full of uh, demons. I like the second half, for obvious reasons. I'm gonna pause it there and get the last pile. We are on the home straight uh, from hell. Uh, the two brothers that made this film were fanatical about the, um, the Jack the Ripper story. And uh, if you see the extras on this, they go into such detail of uh, recreating the, the, the crime scenes. Like there's like cracks in the windows that were there at the time it's just like uh, the grapes on the floor it's just they, they went into a lot of detail and I was a big Jack the Ripper sort of fanatic back in the day before the internet I um, traveled up, I used to live in Bristol I traveled up to London to read the, the Times newspaper from the 18, 1888 I think it was eight, something like that uh, of all the clippings of when this went down this serial killer and um, Oddly enough, like it would be like on page four, a little paragraph that like someone was killed because they were prostitutes and sort of undeserved of uh, headline news. But a great story, and you've got um, Bobby Coltrane in this as well, who's Hagrid in Harry Potter films. Johnny Depp, one of Johnny Depp's best roles. Uh, he was Abernathy. Is it Abernathy? Uh, the detective that was in charge. From Paris with Love, a great. John Travolta film. Um, I'm not a big fan of the other guy, uh, Jonathan uh, Rhys Myers. Uh, he's just—I don't know—something about him. I just want to punch. Um, and I'm not a violent person. Jonathan uh, John Travolta, wig off. Uh, no holes barred. Great film. It's, he should do more films like that for sure. From time to time, a German import. Uh, I don't think this is out in the UK. Uh, he get. Oh look at that! Nice bit of artwork. Time travel. It's got Maggie Smith in that. Frost Nixon, Michael Sheen, Frank Langella. Uh, it's it's a film about an interview, a sit down interview. But like um, Eye in the Sky, it builds tension. Uh, it, it, it you could cut the atmosphere. This is uh, based on a true story of um, uh, um, uh, Frost. What was his first? Uh, what was his first name? Frost. David Foss, that's it. I remember him well. Uh, yeah, uh, David Foss, and he interviews uh, President Richard Nixon um, about the Watergate and things like that. And it's just really good. Uh, directed by Ron Howard. Highly recommend it. Frozen, set on the frozen ice slopes. Frozen, kind of set on the frozen ice slopes, but uh, a little bit more tonight. You've got Olaf in this. Uh, this is Disney number 52 of the classics. I kind of like this film. It's in 3D. 3D is pretty good in that. Pretty good. Frozen Ground. Nicolas Cage, John Cusack. I don't know if I've seen this. I just don't know. If I have, I've forgotten about it. So it can't be that special. The Fugitive. Now this is a good film. Um, Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, it's got a commentary by Tommy Lee Jones and the extras. Um, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Wrongly accused of killing his wife, played by uh, Celia Ward, I think. Celia Ward? Celia Ward. Uh, he goes to prison, but um, 
luckily for him, there's uh, an accident where his train, uh, this um, uh, the bus that's taken him from something to a prison, holding cell to a prison, crashes and he gets out. Uh, it's hit by a train. Uh, he gets out alive. Goes. He's a, then it becomes a fugitive. Tommy Lee Jones is hunting him down, but he's he disappears for such a long time, Harrison Ford, that um, he's able to prove his innocence. I know it's a bit of a spoiler, but bloody hell, that's been out for that's been out for years since 1993. You should have watched it. It's a great film. Full Metal Jacket, another film of two halves. When I say that, half is completely different. One half is completely different to the other. First half, they're, they're training to go to Vietnam, these uh, uh, new recruits. Second half is them in Vietnam. And uh, it's all filmed in the Docklands of London, the Vietnam scenes. I suppose in the first half was as well. Great film. I prefer the um, the second half. Most people prefer the first half. Full Metal, full metal Monty, I was going to say then. Full Monty. <laughs> full Metal Monty. Uh, um, film about strippers fun and fancy free yes I know this isn't out but it is um, it's out as a two disc um, with Ichabod and Mr Toad I have two copies of this uh, the other one is in Ichabod and Mr Toad I made my own cover for that or did that come out separately I don't know I've, but I've got a different cover for Ichabod and Mr Toad and I made one for this it's number nine so they all line up if I want to eventually put more in a line with all the numbers i'm missing like four of the classics three or four funeral party um robert duval sissy spacer and bill murray great cast funny face audrey hepburn i will buy every film audrey hepburn love her love her films funny girl uh same with barbara streisand really enjoy it. i think she's so gorgeous <laughs> uh yeah um omar sharif's in this and barbara streisand not so much now. Funny People. This is not a funny film in any way, shape or form. This is an 18. Uh, I saw this at the cinema. Very disappointed. I'll stick on that. Uh, yeah, very disappointed. But I thought I'd give it another go because I went and expected something and got something completely different. Fairy Vengeance. Now, can you believe... Uh, well, first of all, uh, Brendan Fraser. Uh, I hear now he's he's doing acting on uh, TV. I've still not seen anything. I haven't seen anything with him for years. Um, not the greatest film. Probably never going to make it to Criterion. But there you go. And that is on my shelf next to Fury. Yes, next to Fury. Brad Pitt. Um, I think he's got Shia LaBeouf in this as well. And the guy who was Shane at The Walking Dead is in this as well. He's old, makes me a bit uneasy. He's quite a nutter. Look, he's probably a nice, nice bloke. Mm, uh, Michael Pena's in this as well. This is a great war film. Uh, from what I've heard, it's quite inaccurate, um, but very good. Fury. Now, did they get his name because of this? I know it, his name's out in the comics, but was he cast because of that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Samuel Jackson. Fury. Future World. This is the sequel to Westworld. I do have Westworld. That being the W's, so uh, you have to wait for that if you, if you want to watch it. Uh, my collection that is. Um, Peter Fonda, Yul Brenner, and uh, Blythe Danner. Uh, whoever that is, Blythe Danner. I couldn't you tell you that was a man or a woman. Blythe. Blythe. Who names their child Blythe? Uh, Future World. And the last two is FX. FX and FX, the deadly art of illusion. FX two, great films. Uh, you've got Brian Brown, and he's in both, so you, you know he's going to survive the first one. Kind of a spoiler, and uh, the same with Brian Dennehy. Dennehy. Uh, yeah, I like it. He was in uh, First Blood, in case you reckon. I think he was. What's he been in First Blood? Amongst other things, been a lot of things. Uh, yeah, he's um. Uh, an FX, uh, a special effects expert, and uh, he avoids dying basically. Good films, watch them. Uh, this one was an Australian import, but it is out now in the UK, and this one's a UK from 101 Films. So that is it, that was the F's. So, again, I'll give you a quick shout out to Physical Media for Life. 
go and check out Dan. He's a great YouTuber. And I also mentioned uh, Adam from Spin1984, his channel, Spin1984, and Physical Media for Life. Go and check those two YouTubers out. Thank you. That was the Fs. In case you're wondering where I got these from, these are from Amazon. They are CD dividers. Take care, everybody. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'll be back with the Gs probably next week sometime if I get time. It's, I, I'm really rushed. And uh, I'll f obviously do an out and about on Monday. See you then. Take care. Bye-bye.